Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Hey, miss. You got a little something something on your nose. Yeah. You got yogurt on. No, don't get it on mommy. You got yogurt all over your nose. It's all over your snoot. Oh, man. All that yogurt you missed out on because it's on your nose. Now mommy's got to wash your face. It's a mess. Yeah. Are you giving me hugs? Aw. Good girl. You guys, we have a new pet. We discovered it yesterday. Do you think it's a girl or a boy? Or what do you think, what do you think we Maybe should... It depend, depends on the way it jumps. Oh. How far. <laughs> okay, so it is a, don't get too close. It is a jumping, a jumping spider. I thought it was a fly. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. It is not a fly. It is not a fly. I'm going to go get a plastic bag and put him in. No, 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 we're not going to catch him. We're going to let him live freely in the home. Rent free. So... Yesterday, I saw him way up there, and I thought it was a big fly. Turns out it's a jumping spider, a black jumping spider, completely harmless. In fact, I had done some research a little while ago because I wanted a pet jumping spider. Um, but they're kind of finicky about like temperature and humidity. No, 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 don't, don't. I don't want you to mess with him at all. I want him to be comfortable and happy. Um, and so it was like a lot more than you would think, like requirements for taking, for giving them a good life. So I was like, I can't do that. It's just too much, especially with the cold and like we don't have a whole lot of control over like the humidity and temperatures and things like that. Um, but anyway, we discovered that that's what it was, was this jumping spider. He's so cute. He's kind of big for a jumping spider. Um, he's, he's moving. So we need to think of a name for him. Okay. I had asked Georgie. Georgie. But we were gonna maybe name the, the gargoyle George. Okay, so in the comments, a lot of people said George or Jeffrey or Gordon, I think was one of them. Ooh, Gordon's a good one. You like Gordon? Yeah, pretty good. Hmm. Okay, so George, Jeffrey, or Gordon. What does he look like? A George, a Jeffrey, or a Gordon? Or, I mean, it's nothing's official yet, so if you guys think it's something different, that's fine too. Put I, some names in the comments. Yeah, I like the names that start with a G, the letter G. Chelsea did face makeup today, by the way. Those are little stars on her face. This so isn't actually on face paint. It's, I think eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. Yeah, eyeshadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so not official yet. If you have any other ideas, leave them in the comments, and we'll have to maybe do a vote amongst the family to see what we come up with, right? Right point. now it's George, There's Gordon, and well, Jeffrey. Okay, and then now we need to pick a name for our pet jumping spider that we are going to allow to live rent-free. Jeffrey, because jump, Jeffrey? Jump. Jumpy Jeffrey. <laughs> Jumpy Jeffrey, which, mean, which would knock Jeffrey out of the running for the gargoyle. So everyone say hello very quietly to Jeffrey the Jumping Spider. I love him. He's all black. It's, it's so fitting for Halloween because A, he's a spider. Two, he's like all black. And then it looks like he's got a little bit of orange on his back. He is a jumping spider. He's not, he's completely harmless. No, no harm, yeah, no harm can be done. I'm wearing black. Yeah, Chelsea's wearing all black today. So Jeffrey the Jumping Spider is our new house pet. We are not going to try to catch him. Wait, we are we not going to mess with him in any way, shape, or form. We're just going to let him exist peacefully and happily in our home. What about the big spider that's on the fridge? I don't have the one fake one? one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can name that too if you want. Good. Name the painting, the cat in the painting. Okay. So, you guys have some work to do. Leave, them, leave your suggestions in the comments below. Okay, guys, I have previously mentioned... <laughs> I need to do something with these patio cushions and pillows. Um, I had a brilliant idea to use space bags. So I discovered space bags earlier, like in the spring, I think it was, to pack away like my winter clothes and they work so well. And so I thought, why not put these guys in space bags and save us some storage space. So I have the ones that I bought off Amazon 
And I have the ones from the $1.25 tree store. I will not call it the Dollar Tree anymore because that's not what it is, it's the $1.25. So for $1.25, you can get these. They're, they say they're large, but they're probably more like a medium. These I paid quite a bit more for. I think it was like 20 bucks for like this whole thing, but it has a bunch of different sizes and stuff and they are good quality, but for $1.25, you can't really beat it. So I'm going to try one and see how it goes. My main concern is size. Will these bags work for these cushions? That is not promising. Oh no. I'm gonna try to put it in there, but I don't think it's gonna fit. I think I'm gonna have to use the Amazon ones, which stinks because I wanted to go get more from the Dollar Tree <laughs> to do all of them. Okay. I'm gonna do this kind of like a pillowcase, right? Does that sound like a good idea? I think so. It's not gonna fit these pillows. Not even, not even. Well, I mean, maybe I could, maybe I could squeeze. Sit out the Amazon one, and this is definitely gonna be a better fit, for sure. <laughs> I was vacuuming, so I had the, my phone turned way up so I could hear it. <laughs> Boy, it should be a lot easier to get stuff done <laughs> without a dog in the way. All right, perfect fit. I'm gonna suck it closed. All right, you ready? Yep. Lock the pillow. Here we go. It's gonna be loud. I know. Mostly just air. It's gonna, it's gonna take up a lot less space to store it. <laughs> Pretty nice, huh? Yep. What do you think, Pig Bill? What do you think? All right, problem solved. <laughs> problem solved. Oh, somebody thinks she's gonna get some. So we've been having this caramel, ooh, this caramel dip. So good. Got another one with apples, making our own caramel apple. It's good that way. Oh Boy, the peanuts, it's just missing. Yeah, it's missing the like little bit of saltiness and crunch from the peanuts. I like to do, I like to use our sprinkles, but I like sprinkles. Michael doesn't like sprinkles. So, oh, put a little rage into it. But they can't, you need them in. <laughs> oh, you don't want them to be dust. dust. Yeah. You want crunch? Pixie says, I'll help. I'll, I'll, Did I'll chunk them. Did you find both those pieces? I'm sure she did. She's gotten pretty good about that. So Michael bought peanuts at the grocery oh, store today. A pack of peanuts. Yeah, just a little pack so that we could have some uh, with the apples and the dip because we just bought a brand new thing, a dip too, so. And green apples, which you don't like, I just found out. <laughs> I, just, I put on the grocery oh. list, is it Fiji or Fuji? I always forget. Fuji. Fuji apples are what I like. I don't really care for any other kind of apple. That might sound snobbish, well, but I'm an apple snob. Caramel apples are usually made with right. green apples. But I'm not a fan apple. of tart foods. These aren't really tart though. You're the one who said tart. Or, I said sour. And Michael's like, well, they're not sour. No, they're tart. And I'm not, I'm just not a fan of tart or sour. Yeah, they're salted peanuts. So, oh no, is it too salty? Because they're not supposed to be salted peanuts on there. It's just plain peanuts. Uh, I couldn't find plain peanuts unless really? I bought a big container. Oh. I just bought the little huh. 99 cent thing. No unsalted peanuts, huh? You know what you could do? You could dip it in peanut butter and then caramel. Nah. No? Mike, just, Michael's not a big you get uh, peanut butter pit. fan. <laughs> so you've got tart and you've got get you. salt. Oof. I think I'll stick with my uh, sprinkles. 